Helen Fairy Tales Rachel's Motherly Mystery Once upon a time in a small village, there was a great famine in the land, there was no rain nor dew, there was so much hunger in the land that people started killing themselves for food. Then some people gathered together and planned to start killing their mother, since there was nothing to eat again. How long do we continue to stay in hunger, should we continue to look ourselves? Till we all die of hunger, since we all have elderly people in our midst. I suggest we should start killing our mothers for food, till the end of the famine. I know we all love our mothers, but as the situation is right now, we need to live, we need to survive the famine. And before we all lose our mothers to the famine, the famine would have been over. Do we all agree with this? They all agreed to kill their mother for food, except, one lady called Rachel. Rachel loved her mother so much, that she could not see her mother died, or kill her mother for food, so Rachel, had to think of what to do, to save her mother, as some people as started killing their mothers for food. My mother, my golden mother, you know I love you so much, I cannot see you die, neither can I see you suffer. Some people has gathered together to kill their mother for food because of this famine. Mother you have suffered a lot. I can't repay your benevolence with death. Mother I want you to go into hiding. Mother I want you to hide in attic. I can guarantee your safety in the attic but if you are down here, people might see you and kill you, and I may not be able to save you from them. Mother, listen to me, please. Rachel's mother accepted to stay in attic for her own safety. Rachel went to one of her friend's house, Eleanor. Eleanor asked, how is she coping with the famine? Because Rachel never looked like someone that is suffering or going through famine. Rachel, my very good friend, what is the secret of your good looking? As you can see, we all are suffering. We have nothing to eat, even when we killed all mothers, hoping that the famine will be over. But the famine is not over yet. We are starving, no food to eat, yet we'll lose our mothers. But your case is different. We didn't see your mother. Either did we hear the death of your mother. Tell me what is going on my friend. You can't hide secret from your friend. Tell me what is going on Rachel. You have asked a big question that I have made up my mind not to tell anyone. But as you are my childhood friend, my best friend, I shall tell you the truth. The truth is that I never killed my mother. I love my mother so much to kill her. My mother is in the attic safe and sound. My mother cooks for me. Although there is famine, I don't know where she is getting the food from. Once I called her name three times, she will tie food with a rope and drop the food down and I will eat and she will take the rope with the plate. That is how I have been eating and am healthy and good looking. That is my secret. Please do not tell anyone my secret. That is very nice of you. Truly, you really love your mother. Rachel, can you please help me get some food from your mother for me? As you can see I'm hungry. Kindly get food for me. Please help me so that I will not die of hunger. I will be happy if you can do this for me. Oh Eleanor, what are friends for? I shall go to my mother to get food for you. In short, I will be bringing food for you every day, till when the famine is over. I can't let you die of hunger, because you are my friend. I shall go now and get you food to eat. Rachel went to the attic to collect food on behalf of her friend so that her friend can eat. But what Rachel did not know is that, Eleanor her friend was not happy with Rachel, seeing that Rachel never killed her mother, while others killed their mother for food. Eleanor was in her house, thinking of what Rachel told her. Human beings can be so wicked. After we have all agreed to kill our mothers, Rachel decided to keep her own mother. As if we that killed our mother are fools, I know what to do. I will go and inform others of what Rachel did. She must pay for betraying others by not killing her own mother. While we others killed our own mother, her mother must die, Rachel's mother must die. Hope you enjoy today's episode on Rachel's mother mystery. Not everything you tell people, some secret are best left unsaid so that you can enjoy your life. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to Helen Fairy Tales. Every view is a big encouragement for us to create more fascinating stories. Don't forget to subscribe to Helen Fairy Tales to help us reach 1000 subscribers soon. Share, like and follow all our social media handle. See you in the next episode. Bye.